welcome back to Reactions at Rock. I am Seth. And if you need to know any more than that, you can check out the bio or some older videos or whatever, and I'll tell you a little more about myself. But now, I'm trying to cut these intros down just a little bit and get right into the music. That being said, a couple of weeks ago, I checked out a band I had no familiarity with whatsoever called Monoskin, and I was blown away. It was a little dirty, it was a little sexual, but it rocked. And I don't mind dirty, sexual, and rocking, so that works for me. Well, a lot of people reached out to me in the comments section and said that they're an Italian band, and I have to check out their first big hit, uh, and I'm going to try to pronounce it here, but other than like pasta fagiole or fr fromaggio, is, is that even, is that even Italian? That's, that's, that's not Italian? No? <laughs> okay, I guess pasta fagiole and carbonara are the only Italian I know. Uh, gabagool? Uh, mozzarella. That's it. Um, Yes, I, oh man, I hope I didn't offend anybody, but seriously, I'm a pasty white boy, French Canadian and Irish heritage, and uh, my, I don't speak any Italian, despite the fact that I did marry a beautiful Italian woman from Indiana, by way of Florida, by way of my heart. So that's more information than you need to know, but anyway, um, we're going to fire up Monoskin ZD. Blown e zito e bloney zito e somebody spell this out phonetically for me down below. As you know, I could go on Wikipedia and figure out exactly how to pronounce this. However, I don't do any research. I don't want to ruin anything. I want to be as authentic as possible when I do these reactions, and part of my authenticity means I go at this as blind as Mr. Magoo uh, with a blindfold. If you know kids, you know, and if you don't, holy crap, I'm old, and I'm sorry for that reference. Anyway, I'm going to fire it up. ZDE Booney? I don't know. Maybe maybe, maybe they'll tell us the song, so I at least have an idea. Uh, again, I'm sure somebody will correct me on this in the comments. Um, that's totally fine. I don't mind a little corrective surgery, if you know what I mean. Tell me what I need to know. This is how I learn. I am on this epic journey to break out of my bubble of music and uh, i appreciate and rely on every single one of you for helping me along the way continue to help me because my italian it, italian look at that i'm a jerk my italian sucks um and yeah just just help me out Loro non sanno di che parlo, vestiti sporchi fra di fango, giallo di siga fra le dita, io con la siga camminando. Scusami ma ci credo tanto, che posso fare questo salto, e anche se la strada è in salita, per questo ora mi sto allenando e buonasera, signore e signori, fuori gli attori, vi conviene toccarvi i coglioni, vi conviene stare zitti e buoni, qui la gente è strana tipo spacciatori, troppe notti stavo chiuso fuori. Molli prendo a calci sti portoni Sguardo in alto tipo scalatori Quindi scusa mamma se sto sempre fuori Ma sono fuori di te Okay, first pause break right here. Um, I don't understand a word of it, but I love it. Um, this is rock and roll. This is that driving, pounding rock music that I absolutely love. Um, there are many different types of rock. There's many different types of rock and roll. There's a thousand different genres. There's a million different genres of metal, and they're always at war with each other. The death metal guys hate the black metal guys, and so on and so forth. But anyway... Um, this is fun. This is the type of song where if I'm driving down the road, like a nice big open highway or something, and this comes on, that gas pedal's getting pressed a little bit harder because this has that driving beat. It's that boom, boom, boom. You want to hear more. You want to keep it going. Um, so many times when a band that I don't know comes out with music like this and they have that driving beat, they fall into the trap where it's the Basically, the whole song is just that. Boom, 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 boom. And it drives you forward, but it doesn't really take you anywhere. So I'm actually hoping this will take me somewhere. I really want 
like some crazy bridge or I'd like this to all of a sudden just drop out and just slow down to nothing on me and then pick right back up or something. I'm really hoping that not only am I just driving forward, but that I'm actually on a ride. So let's find out if that happens. In the meantime, we're going to keep rolling through it. Uh, Monoskin ZD Ibuno? Ah. Io ho scritto pagine e pagine, ho visto sale e poi lacrime Questi uomini in macchina non scalare le rapide Scritto sopra una lapide, in casa mia non c'è Dio Ma se trovi il senso del tempo risalirei dal tuo brio E non c'è vento che fermi la naturale potenza Dal punto giusto di vista del vento senti le prezze Con all'incera la schiena ricercherò quell'altezza Se vuoi fermarmi di testa prova a tagliarmi la testa perché Yes! I love it, I love it. Parla la gente purtroppo parla, non sa di che cosa parla, tu porta mi lo resto a galla, e qui mi manca l'aria, parla, la gente purtroppo parla, non sa di che cosa parla, tu porta mi lo resto a galla, e qui mi manca l'aria, parla la gente purtroppo parla, non sa di che cosa parla. Yes! Ma diversa da loro E tu sei fuori di testa Ma diversa da loro Alright, I don't want to stop it right there, but I have to because I'm about to explode. This song so far has hit everything I've wanted it to hit. It had that breakdown. It had that kind of that fast rappy singy part. I know it's not rap, but it's that faster sing. There's been so many like changes in the tone and the, the dialogue in this song that it's mind blowing. Um, it's like four songs rolled into one, but it's still driving forward, and then it stopped, and it hit that breakdown, and now we're in the middle of a guitar. I don't want to call it a solo, it's just kind of like a an edgy, fun, funky bridge, uh, fully distorted, it's just driving me freaking insane in a positive way, but I've got to tell you something, um, my parents would have hated me listening to this. 20, 30 years ago, oh, I guess 30 years ago, because 20 years ago I was already moved out, I'm old, but anyway, um, they would have hated this. Oh, okay, I didn't realize I was that close to the end, I guess. Um, yeah, uh, like I said, my... <laughs> God, I remember the look I got when Marilyn Manson first came out and my parents were like, no, you know, you're going to hell. That's not going to happen in my house. And I think everybody's parents did that. If you're into the rock and roll world, uh, there's always that artist or those artists that come out that push some boundaries that the parents just hate. Even if you're older than me, like Kiss did it. Like everybody's parents hated Kiss when they came out. Of course, Kiss was always singing songs about their appendages. So, I mean, I get that, but... Here's the deal with Monoskin. The videos, the, the the show has a little bit of gender bending. There's definitely some sexuality going on, uh, some eroticism and possibly homoeroticism. My take on this, and I feel comfortable saying it, is that it is a show. They are, I don't want to say playing characters because that sounds kind of dickish, but every now and then when a camera's on and rolling, we have a tendency to take our little subtle, mild personalities and maybe crank them up to like 11. Uh, I can probably speak from experience on this. I've been in front of a camera and a microphone 20 years. Uh, I can guarantee you if I came home and was like at the dining room table talking to my wife like this, she would have murdered me by now. So yeah, we, there's a bit of a, of a theatrical element to it. 
These guys have a YouTube channel that has like followed them around on tour for a bit. And when you see them behind the scenes, they're like four best friends just having fun. They're living their lives. They it almost seems like they can't believe that they're living the life they're living now that they love what they're doing and they're wearing like normal clothes. They're like, I mean, the the bass player uh, Victoria uh and I say that with a question mark cuz I'm 90% sure that's her name uh is wearing clothes um the rest of the band is wearing like soccer jerseys and jeans. So obviously there's a theatrical element to their performance. They sexualize it up for the show, which is perfectly fine. I could tell you stories about rock stars I have hung out with, rock stars that I've met that are not the people you think they are. Some days I'll tell you some of these stories um, about how these people are backstage before they go into makeup, uh, including the one guy who is wearing a pair of white chinos and a Hawaiian shirt before getting out on stage and absolutely delivering a awesome, amazing metal set. I'm not going to name any names, but if you think of a guy that had a couple of these hanging in his chin, you might know who I'm talking about. Mm -mm, didn't give that away, did I? Oops. But anyway, um, let's talk Monoskin for just a minute. Uh, first of all, to all my Italians watching, I'm sorry I don't speak any Italian, and I'm sorry if my pronunciations are horrible, and if I've said anything borderline offensive, please understand I am coming from a place of obnoxious humor um, and ignorance, and that is where I live in the wonderful world of obnoxiously humorous and ignorant. So I understand that. I appreciate all my Italian subscribers who have come on from my last Monoskin song. I would love someday to see your beautiful country. Like I said, my wife is Italian but not from Italy. Um, but we, we still count that here, okay? When you're in America, we count that. Uh, so I'm going with it. Uh, and she's a hell of a cook, uh, in case you can't tell. So, um, yeah. Anyway, I'm loving this band. I am just barely seeing the tip of the iceberg here. Um, they These guys are young. They're all in their like, mid-20s. I can't wait to see what this band looks like and sounds like in 10 years. I said it in the comments uh La the last Monoskin song I did, um, I had mentioned that sometimes management companies and record labels will pit band members against each other. That is a practice that still happens today. They try to tell you, well, especially the managers, the guy who's making 10% now wants you to, well, you should get 50% of the songwriting credits, not 25% because you're the force behind the band. And managers will tell you that because if you're making twice as much money, your manager's making twice as much money. So I have seen firsthand, secondhand, and thirdhand managers and lawyers and record companies pit band members against each other. These guys and girl are friends. They were friends when they formed the band. And I really hope that the industry is kind to them and they continue to be friends 10 years from now. I do not want to see them kicking each other out of the band and the he said, she said BS. I mean, Motley Crue made it like 50 years and just all their drama friggin' exploded last year uh, if we ignore the drama that exploded in the 90s. But anyway, um, so I'm hoping for a long, prosperous, and exciting career because this is great songwriting. I don't understand a word of this song and I like it. Normally, if you turn on a European song that I don't understand, I'm lost. I'm done with it within 15 seconds. This, I don't need to understand the lyrics because I understand the vibe. There's a feeling, there's a vibe, there's an emotional connection to the song, even without knowing the lyrics. So that is in itself an incredible task to actually kind of carry that over. I dig it. I'm impressed by it. Um, I will on my own time, look at the lyrics and see what they translate to, because I really like a lot of the tongue-in-cheek approach that these guys have, a lot of the fun that they have in the writing style, um, the double entendres and things like that, and just the, the, the gritty crunch of the band. I'm digging it. Uh, this may be my new favorite band. I plan for New Year's Eve doing a, like a top five countdown of my five favorite new artists that I've discovered through this endeavor in 2023. And I've got a feeling these guys are going to be on the list. Will they be number five or number one? I don't know yet. You'll have to tune into that to see, but that's a week away anyway, or so. I don't know exactly when this is going to go up, but it, you know, a new year, you can look at a calendar, figure out when new year's Eve is. You'll be okay. So that being said, I've enjoyed this. I hope you did too. Go ahead. Consider those thumbs for me. I love your thumbs. Um, they're just the perfect size. 
uh, the not too hot and not too cold, just right thumbs. Uh, definitely tell me more bands or more songs or whatever else I need to check out. If there's a band like Monoskin that you love that nobody else knows about, tell me about it. If there's a band you love that everybody knows about, tell me about it. Because there's a 50-50 chance I'm still clueless. Uh, even in rock music, I don't even listen to new rock anymore. It's kind of heartbreaking, but I've become that old guy. So tell me who I have to hear. I definitely love all the feedback I get. Tell me what I don't know. Enlighten me. Inform me. Anything you need to get off your chest, share with me in the comments. Even if it's just that I'm a dork, uh, I'm okay with that. Um, subscribe. Consider it. It won't break my heart. won't hurt my feelings. And until we see each other again, rock and roll. Actually, if somebody wants to come up with a better sign-off, go ahead and put that in the comments, too, because this, this sucks. But anyway, rock and roll.